Hey guys, it's Gretchen from Glow Mommy. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking to you about the Lucy Abbey Bag by Bubbles Kisses. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, like I said earlier today, I'm going to be talking to you about the Lucy Addy bag by Bubbles Kisses. This is in their black color. It's a vegan leather bag and it is very pretty. I love the quilting detail on the front. Um, when they reached out to me to see if I wanted to do a review on this bag, I was really excited because I had seen a few things about it and was just thought it had a lot of really cool features about it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and point some of those features out and show you how I have the bag packed. So let's just jump right into it. All right guys, so I will point out the features as we go around the bag and as I unpack it. So it's made of faux leather and it's very soft. Um, it's kind of a pebbled leather, um, but like I said, it feels really nice. Um, and then the front of the bag has a nice mommy pocket, if you will. It's got zippers with a knotted pull that I think is really cute. I love the little dangle of those little tassels. Um, and in the front pocket here, it's a very generous size pocket. I'll just open it all the way. Um, if I'm out and about, realistically, I wouldn't be opening it all the way. You can just open it part way and grab what you need, but I'm opening it all the way so that I can show you kind of what I have in here. So I've got my phone in here and it fits a really big phone in there. In this pocket, I've got my Touchland hand sanitizer and the bag did come with this really cute charm, this heart. Um, and I decided to put it on my Touchland, mostly because this didn't come with a little clasp and um, the Touchland didn't. So I stuck the clasp on here so I could hook it anywhere that I needed to. But I think that that is super cute detail that it came with it. Um, so there's that. And then in this other pocket, I've just got some hand lotion because it's winter and my hands are always dry. And then I've got my wallet in this back slip pocket here. And this is just my Gabby wallet by the brand Limea. That was everything that I had in these pockets. On the front of the bag, on the inside of this pocket, there is a zipper compartment here. And in here, I just have a bunch of lip glosses and uh, Andy's Mint from going <laughs> out to eat the other night um, in there. So that was everything that I had in this front pocket here. On the side of the bag, it's got these nice zip around pockets and the zippers are very smooth on all of the zippers on this bag. Um, so there's two matching pockets, but they're very different in what they can do. So this pocket here, it opens up and it actually opens into the inside of the bag. And it's an insulated bottle pocket. So I've got just my bottle right here. I will have to put on the screen. I think it's a 10, maybe 12 ounce bottle. Um, it's an insulated bottle, which I wouldn't need because this is an insulated pocket. Um, and then I've got some fruit snacks just kind of hanging out on the bottom here of the bag because it was an easy place to just grab them out of. Um, but I can show you really quick. A sippy cup does fit perfectly in this pocket. Um, and then you could just push it in or like a baby bottle. If you needed to get quick access to your bottle, you could just open this pocket up and grab it. Um, and then it's kind of nice because it leaves the bag more streamlined. It doesn't have like bulky bottle pockets on the side. So I think that's a really nice touch right there. On the other side, there is, like I said, a matching pocket, but again, very different in what it can do. In this one, I have it set up my kids had just like a little bit of a cough a week ago. Um, it wasn't anything serious, don't worry. But I did think that this was such a great pocket to set up for that. So I'll kind of show you how I have this set up. And this is just one idea. There's so many ways that you could use this pocket. Um, and so I'm just going over this one idea. But I have my little Kleenex pack in here and I thought it was perfect because you can pull the Kleenex right out of that little hole there. And then right here, I've got my little trash baggies, which if you had to well, your nose or anything like that, you had a trash baggie to put that garbage in so that you don't have to worry about where that's going. Um, and then in this top pocket here, um, I've got their Umka little cold tablets that the kids can chew on. And then in the bottom pocket, little zipper pouch, there's a thermometer in there. So I wanted to have that just to make sure everything was okay. And then on this inside part right here, this is what is really cool too. It's like a hidden pocket right here because this thing kind of flaps over it, but it is lined with some sort of PUL lining. So I thought it would be a perfect place to stick the little syringe that we do their medicine with 
and then just their little cough medicine in there. So I thought that that was a really cool place, just like a one-stop shop for like all of your, if you're sick, needs. Um, also, I used to be diabetic. Uh, I kind of still am, but I had a pancreas transplant. This would have been perfect to keep like all my diabetic supplies. You could probably put a little cold pack in here and keep like your insulin. Um, if you've got kids that have asthma or like if you need an EpiPen, it'd be a perfect little place because you could zip it away in there and then it's kind of hidden and then just any of their little medical needs, I think it would be such a perfect pocket for those kind of things or like a first aid pocket. On the back of the bag, you can see that there are backpack straps here that I have adjusted accordingly to how I need it. Uh, to the to the length that I needed it to be so it sat really nicely on my back just like that but I thought that these backpack straps were pretty cool because you can actually adjust them so that you can hold it like a a shoulder bag which I can show you an on the body at the end but I thought that that was really neat that you could do that and um, like I said you can do it as a shoulder bag or pull these down and then it is a backpack and then also these do unclip at the bottom so that you can attach them here and here and even like kind of carry it cross body if you needed to. And then the bag does come with um, included stroller straps, which I actually have hooked to my stroller right now, but I'll insert what they look like here. It also has like a really nice grab handle here on the back. It's very sturdy. I love being able to just grab onto this grab handle when we're going to run into the car and run errands or something. And then the back of this bag is really cool. It's got a nice luggage sleeve right here. You can just slip that right over your rollerboard luggage if you wanna travel with this bag, which it would be an amazing bag for travel. And actually I've got a trip coming up to Texas that I was thinking that this would probably be the perfect bag to take for that trip. Um, but in this back section, it's really cool. Um, I don't know if you can see this, I'll do a little close up of it, but right here you've got a USB port and then a auxiliary port. So right in this front pocket, I've got a USB cable that I can plug in really quickly to charge my phone. It's just a really small one. Um, and then you could stick a longer one in and stick your phone inside this pocket. And you may be wondering, well, how am I gonna charge it with this little USB right here? Um, but inside, it's got the hookups to, you could hook like a iPod or something like that, an MP3 player back here if you wanted just to be able to hook like even your kids um, into some music or if you're just like on the go and want some music, you could hook like an iPod into there. Get my keys out of the way. My keys are also in the back there. Um, but what I have hooked onto that USB is just my Mophie charger, which this thing holds such a long charge and can like charge your phone numerous times. So I just have this fully charged up and I kind of stuck it inside this padded. It's a slightly padded pocket so that it was going to be more cushioned against my back. But that way I've always got a way to charge my phone because this is plugged in. And I just think that that is such an intuitive thing. Like, like I've not seen this on any bags. I think that that is such a cool feature to have like just included into your bag. Um, and so that is what I have going on here. There are a lot of pockets um, back here that I didn't actually um, use because I kind of had a lot going on on the inside of the bag. So many options that you could use with this bag. And then this is where the included key ring actually was connected was right here. Um, as you saw, I stuck that on my Touchland hand sanitizer, but that's what I have going on in this pocket. But there are a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of organization in here. There's a slip pocket here. There's a zip pocket right here. Then there is this part that I have the charger sitting in that is padded. And there are two little window pockets that you could put different um, type of IDs or something in there. And then on the outside, there is also that zipper pocket that I kept my little charging port or a little charging cord inside of. And if that wasn't enough pockets for you, there's also a really cool feature on this bag. Um, on the bottom of the bag here, you can see there's two zippers here. And if I just zip those around, this is actually like a little lunch box. It's insulated. Um, I've got an ice pack sitting in here. It can fit some little silverware utensils in there. And then I've got just some like treats, you know, not healthy treats right here. But um, I stuck my kids yum box in here and I've just got different little lunch um, things in here. So I thought that that was great. And I love the yum box in here or some sort of like a lunch box, bento box, something like that, because it kind of helps to like, if you've got a lot of stuff in here, it kind of helps to hold it up. Um, but even without that in there, I didn't actually see that that was a problem. I kind of thought it was going to be, but I can kind of show you with that empty, it still holds up um, quite a bit, but I did like 
the, because I have so much going on on the inside, I did like sticking like a bento box in there. It kind of helped to hold the bottom up for me, um, if that makes sense. Then on this front, there is the cute little BK for Bubbles Kisses logo right there. And this is a nice magnetic flap right here. It holds on really well. Um, and then it's also shaped, so it, it's going to go that way anyways, but it holds on really well. And then there is a nice opening with double zips on it right here. Um, the thing that I love about this opening, and I will put the camera up so that we can get like a better view of what's going on in there. But the thing I love about this opening is once you open it, it's like one of those doctor bag openings that like opens really wide so that you can see everything that's going on on the inside of the bag. So let's go ahead and prop the camera up and I will show you exactly what's going on on the inside of the bag. So on the inside of the bag, um, I've got a bunch of stuff going on in here. So I'm going to go ahead and empty the inside portion first so that I can really show you the outside organization of the pockets that are built in. Um, so right here, I've got a snack tower that's mostly empty, just has a few snacks left for all of my kids, which if you don't know, I've got four kids. I've got a 12 year old. I've got a son that just turned five yesterday. And then I've got twins that are three. There is also my three-year-old just decided that she is potty trained. It's crazy. I had such a nightmare with my five-year-old, but my three-year-old just, she decided one day she's potty trained, but her twin sister is still in diapers. But this is just like a potty training kit, basically. I've got my foldable toilet seat in there. And then on the front of this bag, there's a zipper pocket. And this is a Logan and Lenora simple clutch, I think is what it's called. Um, but I've got some wet ones to wipe down the area to keep the germs away. And then I've got a little wet bag here to put any clothes that she may have had an accident in. And then I've got a change of clothes here that's just socks, um, underwear, and pants so that if she does have an accident, we've got what we need to hurry up and get her changed. And we can put the dirty clothes in that little wet bag. Then right here, I just got this awesome, awesome bag from Keep Going First Aid and it's the cutest first aid kit ever. This is their little go kit and it's got like everything you would need on the go. There's cotton swabs, a little tongue depressor or um, like a splint if you needed to splint their finger. There's band-aids, there's like antibiotic ointment, there's um, burn cream, itch cream, bigger bandages, there's ibuprofen, aspirin, um, non-aspirin, headache stuff. This thing just has like so many things, more band-aid stickers, like all the things that you may need while you're out and about and something happens, it's in here and it's so well put together. Like all these pockets are sewn separately. I just really love this little kit and it comes in a bunch of different patterns as well, but I like to keep it right in there with this handle up so I can just grab it out really easily and get what I need to get if I need it. And this pocket here, it's elasticized at the top. I have the included change pad that comes with this bag, which is a very generously sized change pad. And it's that faux leather on one side and a really nice wipeable material on the other. Then I've got two diapers in here. And then I've also got a itsy ritzy wipes case with wipes in it. And then that was everything in that pocket. There are two pockets here that are insulated. I wasn't using them because I had the inside so full, but you could put um, sippy cups or anything like that in there. Then on this side, I do have an iPad to help entertain my kids. And then also my 12 year old son is doing half school and half virtual school. So we can actually jump onto his Google Classroom through this and kind of do some of his homework on it. And then in this pocket in front of that pocket, it's a elasticized just kind of slip pocket. It fits quite a bit of stuff in there. I've got a UB pencil organizer. Um, I love this thing. I got it at Target and it holds all of my kids little um, activities. So kind of stuff to keep them busy when we're out and about. So I've got a bunch of colored pencils here. I've got crayons from various play packs. I've got play packs here and then just like a little notebook that's got blank pages so that my girls can color in. Then I've also got a little boogie board here that has cards that can go behind it so that they can practice spelling different things on there. In the back of here, there's a zipper compartment that I just have stickers from some of the play packs. I love this unicorn. I think it's so cute. They have unfortunately discontinued this print, but they do have 
other colors on the UB website or like at Target or on Target.com. And that was everything in these pockets. And then I did have these fruit snacks in the bottom that I showed you earlier that were easily accessible from that outside pocket there. Then in this zipper compartment, I've got an extra thing of Band-Aids from Keep Going First Aid if I just needed a Band-Aid. I just like having some extras in there. And then I've got some emergency essentials and then some bribery suckers Oops, just floating around in there. I love that this pocket is trimmed with that faux leather. It kind of helps it pop out on the inside. And then they've got their cute little cursive logo right there, the Bubbles Kisses. And then as I was saying, like, look at how amazing that is when you open it up. These open all the way. They've got little tails so that this is like a really nice wide opening to see everything that's going on on the inside of your bag. All right, guys. So that is how I have the, my Luciati packed up. I hope that this review was helpful for you and that it gave you some ideas of what the bag is like and maybe some ways of how you could pack it. Um, it's such a great bag. It's pretty lightweight for everything that is included in it. Um, it's got so many different features packed into this that, that the possibilities are literally endless for what you could use this bag for. Um, I've really been enjoying carrying it. It's been such a dream to like have all the access to everything and just all these fun pockets I wouldn't have even thought of. Um, I just think that they have a lot of really cool innovative things that they're doing with their bags, which is really fun to see because sometimes you just see like the same thing over and over and this bag it really stands out. I think it's a great bag. So I'll go ahead and leave the links to the bag down below in the description and to any of the things that I used in this video. So thanks for coming by guys and we'll see you later.